Good afternoon, and welcome to the Super Learners. I am your host, Layla, and today I will be interviewing our social studies teacher, Ms. Castro. So how are you, Ms. Castro? I'm good. How are you, Layla? I'm good, thank you. So, um, when did you decide that you wanted to become a teacher? I decided when I was a junior in high school. I wanted to be a lawyer first. I wanted to be a lawyer because I saw one on TV that was Hispanic. I was like, oh, I want to do that. And then I had this fabulous social studies teacher in 10th grade. She taught world studies, and I was good at it. And she told me, you know, Lisa, you need to be a social studies teacher. I was like, but I want to be a lawyer. Then I had an even better social studies teacher in high school, and she told me the same thing. You should be a social studies teacher. She said, you have all these facts rattling around your head. You'd be really good at it. But I still didn't want to be a social studies teacher until Miss Wilkes, who was my 10th grade teacher, she got sick. She had brain cancer. And she died when I was a senior in high school. And that day of her funeral was when I decided that I was going to follow her footsteps and become a social studies teacher. <laughs> so um, your social studies teachers were kind of like your idol, right? They were. They, because I could relate to what they were doing. I like to work with students. I like to help them, and that's what they did for me. They were always somebody I could talk to. I was kind of nerdy in school, and nobody wanted to talk to me. <laughs> but my teachers always did. They always took time to encourage me and make sure that I always did my best. And whenever I was feeling down, I would go, and they would sit there. It didn't matter how long. And I just modeled myself after them. Um, so how do you feel being a middle school teacher? When I first started, I hated it. I wanted to be a high school teacher because I thought that they were easier to teach because, you know, you get in, you get out. But as the years progressed, I wouldn't be anywhere else because we have so much fun. We get to do arts and crafts and other activities that in high school, if I ask them to color something because it's an activity that goes with the lesson, they laugh at me. But I get to express myself creatively with the children and I tap into what you guys like. You guys are artists. Everybody wants to be an artist here. So I make sure that I create lessons that are going to encourage you to do fun things. So this is the place for me. And the arts and crafts uh, are fun to do. You, you enjoy them? Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I like people to give me feedback. I always try to f find the right activity for the right child. So I try different things. Some children are writers, singers, dancers. Whatever I can do to get the best out of them is what I, what I look for. So you uh, explained later that at first you wanted to become a lawyer. Um, who was the person who um, inspired you to uh, at least think of, um, for you to become a lawyer? There was a TV show called L.A. Law. And the, one of the main characters was a character played by Jimmy Smith. He played a character named Sefuentes. He was the only Puerto Rican on American television at that time. There weren't female Puerto Ricans only on the Spanish channel, but he was somebody I saw every Thursday night, and I wanted to be like him because he was Puerto Rican like me. But I had no idea what he did. He was a corporate lawyer. What it meant to be a corporate lawyer, I have no idea. I still don't know, but that's what I wanted to be when I entered high school in ninth grade. So if your teacher didn't pass away, would you still think you would have um, become a lawyer, or would you have changed your mind? I probably would have been a teacher anyway because my 11th grade teacher became my 12th grade teacher. And so the time I graduated, that was something she put in my head. When you apply to college, you need to apply to be a teacher. This is what you're really good at. She said, you help all the kids. You make sure they understand the stuff. We had a textbook, and I was the only one who read it. It was brand new. And she said, what'd you do to it? I said, I read it every day. And all the kid, other children's brand new. And she was like, you just, this is what you need to do. And I've never regretted it. They've been bad days. They've been great days, but there's, I would never do anything else. Do you prefer um, students to learn from the textbooks or from the computers? Neither. You need to learn from what I have in my head. <laughs> I'd rather you find your own path. A textbook is only something that somebody wrote. You know, history is told from the victor side. You don't ever get the full version of a story. You need to research, find both sides, and compare them, and see there may be a little bit of truth here, 
a little bit of truth there. But actually, I'd rather you go to the library and get a book than use the internet. And um, what advice would you give to students who are leaving the school uh, to go to high school? Choose your friends wisely. That's always my main, main advice. While your foundation is here, I know I've prepared you for the next level, but choosing your friends and making sure that they have the same goals and desires that you do and not hanging out on the corner or cutting class is the best advice I can give somebody because you want to graduate in four years, not in six. Um, what uh, also advice would you give to people to make their high school choice easier for them? Follow your passion. What is it that brings you the most joy? If you're a dancer, an actor, then choose a school that has that program. Something that's going to make you want to go to school every single day. So if you're not interested in science, don't apply to a science school. If you're not interested in music, don't apply to a music school. Follow here. Follow your passion to the best of your abilities. Okay. Well, thank you for watching the Super Learners. Again, I am your host, Layla. I hope you had a fun time watching the show. Uh, I did, for sure. And I'll see you next time.